What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and we are back with some more Project Zomboid. We're not exactly picking up where we left off. We actually streamed a little bit of the playthrough, and it was only maybe 20 minutes of it. Decided to kind of call the quits and start my own game on the stream, because we went out and hit a gas station, and got this thing really beat up and almost stuck in a zombie horde. Because now, remember how I said there's? it started out with a little bit of zombies, and it was going to get to huge numbers of zombies? Yeah, there's an insane amount of zombies in town. It's like almost suicide to go back into town. But we were able to get a generator and some solar panel parts, which we really, 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 really needed. Because once power goes out, we need to power this fuel pump and inside this building. Uh, or else we lose the ability to get fuel and, you know, food and stuff like that. Water, we can deal with if we got enough buckets. The only problem is with the generator, we needed to actually... Um, learn how to use the generator the problem is we never found the book that goes with it so we now have this weird thing where we have to go back out there eventually to get the stuff for the generator but we did get all the solar panel stuff and the cool thing is we actually have can make the stuff for the solar panel which we are going to do um, and set them up on the roof, but we need a lot of car batteries. Um, a lot of car batteries. And we need electrical wire and solar panels. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna get some of these solar panels set up. I'm not exactly sure how they work, but, I mean, it's, it's worth it, right? It's worth, I know we have a bunch of electrical wire somewhere. There we go. I mean, we have car batteries here. You know, we might actually just be able to do this. Hold on. Let me take one. And we'll get these set up on the roof, and I'm thinking about making the battery bank inside the the, uh, the top floor area. Uh, make a solar roof tile. Okay. We need more... Mm, I know we have wire in here somewhere. I mean, we got enough crap to begin with. If not, I can just take some metal shit apart and get it. Yeah, okay. So we'll take some stuff apart. Uh, maybe like a computer or something like that. Actually, let's go put that solar panel down anyways on the roof. So what I'm thinking is, we need to power this whole building. So we're going to need a lot of battery banks. And a lot of solar panels. I don't know if we're actually going to have enough of it. So we're going to go over here. And I'm thinking of putting this solar panel down right here. Uh, place it. Right here. Okay. And then... I guess that works. We'll keep the window open. And then we'll go get some more stuff. I don't want to disassemble the TV just yet, but we're going to go get some more wires and crap. Alright, I got a few more pieces to maybe do another solar panel. It's, it's hard going trying to get some stuff sometimes, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, where's my solar panel? There it is. Make solar roof tile. Maybe make one more. I can, actually. Let me do this. Let me replace my headlights real fast. Uh, because the headlights on the truck are super broken. And I have a green and a red light. And I think that will actually work. Left headlight. Light bulb. No, I only have one. Okay, never mind. So let me put some of my leftovers back in here real quick. Like this, that, this, that, and that, that, these. Okay, let me do one more solar. I think I have another solar tile. I'm not too sure. I do. Make solar roof tile. Okay. And... Yeah, that's about it. Okay, let me put these two up top real quick. 
and then we'll get started on the stand and everything else and might have to go out and get some batteries off of cars and crap. Alright, that's good. So we're going to sleep and then uh, go out and get this, the rest of this stuff done. Well, of course there were gunshots in the distance. Uh, let me actually place this right up here. I found another box of MREs while I was down there. Looking around and disassembling shit, which was nice. Alright, we finally, finally have enough to make all of our stuff. Um, I did have to read the wiki. Um, <laughs> it takes a lot to power some of this stuff. <laughs> so, basically a... Um, scrap, sheet metal, stuff like that, metal bars. A fridge is about a thousand, or a hundred. So, it needs two batteries to power a fridge. But then, each light's about another, like, 50 or something like that. So, you need a ton. So, if we keep our lights, I'm actually going to remove a lot of, um... Let me take... I don't know how many I need. I'm going to remove a lot of light bulbs in this building. Anything that could possibly draw power is going to get removed. Because I don't want it to create an issue. Uh, I need five sheet metal. I think I have sheet metal somewhere around here. If I remember correctly, I do. Somewhere. If not, I'm pretty sure I can find it. How many did I need? I want to make sure I get all the parts. I need three wire. Okay, so I have too much on me. So let's get rid of... Let's put all of it in here and just take one, two, three. Okay, now I just need sheet metal. So it's going to be interesting to see if this does my power needs because... Oh man, we might have a sheet metal problem. Like here. We have a light on here that I want to turn off. No, that's from outside. But out here we have lights that I want to get rid of. Remove light bulb. Because they're going to draw power. And I don't want them to draw power from the building. So, remove light bulb. So that's an issue. The only thing I want working is basically the fridges. That's it. The fridge and the freezers, and then maybe an oven here and there, are the only things I really want uh, working at all when it comes to drawing power, because that's my main concern, is being able to store the food that we have. But, you know, the best laid plans. Ugh. Okay, we got most of the supplies. Ooh, all the lights are on up here. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and build this thing real quick. I need my sheet metals, which are... Oh, no. I need small sheet metal. Fuck. No. So I thought I messed up. But I... Just need two of these, really. Have the magazine that allows me to um, turn these big ones into small ones. Because I needed small ones, and I didn't know that. But I have the magazine for it. So we need a welder's mask and a welder's torch. Which I should have somewhere. Why don't I have one of these? Is it... Because it's... 
It's weird. I should have a torch somewhere. A propane torch. You know what? It might actually be on my truck. Unless I'm just completely bypassing it. I know there's one around here. I've seen one. I just don't feel like looking for it. Turn the light on. Not having any lights kind of sucks. <laughs> like, no lie. It's probably on the truck. Let's see. Might be in the toolbox. It is! Yay! Okay, cool. Um, I think it's metalworking. Three. What? I have no! Fuck. I just assembled something and I got small metal sheets. Okay. Oh, okay, this has stuff in it. Okay, we're gonna throw it on the floor. This might just work. We might have just found a way around this. Okay. If we take some of those little tiny shelves apart, or what about the these? Can I take these apart? Yeah, 10% chance. Fuck. Oh man, it's going to take us a while to find anything. All right, we finally finally got it all. It took me forever disassembling all kinds of shit. I want to drop off the um, welding stuff, though, into this toolbox here, if I can. Um, let's do the propane torch and the welder's mask. Oh, welder's mask won't fit in there. Okay, um, that sucks. So, yeah, let's take this and put it in here, along with the welder's mask. I would honestly like to keep those together if, if we can. These are all dirty. We're going to wear that. Ooh, I need to shave. Oh boy, I haven't I haven't shaved in so long, man. All right. So, we now need to go and get the rest of this set up up here. Why are all the Oh, I forgot I turned all the light. Oh, it's daylight. That's why all the lights are on. Okay, so we're going to set this thing up up here on the outside. Let me see if I can just disassemble this. No, I can't. Okay. So I'm going to build it like here and then uh, electrical craft one. And then we'll place it. It has to be near it. It can be a floor above or below. So we're going to kind of put it right next to it. That way we can kind of keep track of everything. It should power the entire building though, but we're going to need more batteries like big time. So we're definitely going to have to go out and grab batteries from cars. Which isn't the worst thing, because I know a bunch of places where there are car batteries just chilling. Especially in the crossroad right outside of town. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, battery bank status. Okay, so now we just need to make some batteries to put in there. Which... I'm pretty sure we have a bunch of. Okay, I need some car batteries. Okay, cool. Let's go grab some batteries, just in case. And then we'll see what's going on with them. I know I have a few in here somewhere. Okay, let's see the dealio. I think this one's too big. Yeah, this one's too big to use. Okay. So 
So we're going to need to get a normal battery then. Which, there are a few around here that I can use. Yep, that's a standard one. I don't know if that one will work, but we can give it a shot. Let's see. Okay, wire it. Craft one. Okay, and then we'll go put it into the battery bank. Oh, man, we are really heavy. We're taking damage from it, too, believe it or not. Very minor damage, though. I love just the immersion of this game. So cool, dude. Status... And then if I do that, okay, let's check the status. It's 74% power, okay. We do need water though, let me drink out of this sink. The sinks will hold enough water for a little while. I'm extremely tired too, oh boy. How many more electric, I have a few more electrical wire. Okay, 200, I think that's too big to use. I think that battery's too big. Maybe this one, let's see, heavy duty. Let's see what we get with it. Yep, that's good. Okay, cool. Okay, so we wired that one up. A 200, that's too big. I know that. Okay. Let's see what else we can find. I know I had one over here. Yeah, the 200's too big. Okay, so... We definitely got to go out and get some vehicles and clear out as many tires and stuff. Not tires. Um, car batteries as possible. And we can also do one more solar panel. Alrighty, so here's where I'm thinking we can uh, get these batteries from. Seems like a good area. Let's go here. Uh, battery needs work, maybe. Gonna have to kill this zombie. I'm not worried about the charge of them, because the solar panel is gonna charge them, so. The more I can do this, the better. Car keys required to uninstall that? What? Why would car keys be required? Oh, you know what? I gotta break the window. I think that's what it is. Unlock door. Unlock, okay. I see at least three or four batteries I can grab out of here real quick, if need be. All right, let me uh, go throw these in the back trailer. Yes, yes, I know you're hungry. I know. Actually, yeah, let's get this one real quick.
And is there one around here? Yeah, here, we can do this one too. We can do this one down here. There's two more down here we can do. Nice, okay. So yeah, we can get a good number of batteries out of this if we want to. Will they work? I don't know, maybe? Just stealing batteries. Then we gotta work on getting more solar panels, which is gonna require us to go to town, more than likely. Okay, so that's three more batteries. Nice. And there's still one right by the vehicle, too, that we can hit. So we're at five batteries already. That's another 500 that we can use. As long as it's decent, I mean the charge, the condition on them is pretty shit, but I don't see that being an issue if they still hold a charge. As long as they hold a charge, it should work, right? Hopefully. We'll find out. Let's go check down over here real quick for any other vehicles. And I think we're done. Okay. Let's head back to base. All right. Let's grab up what we can. I'll, I'll try to make two of them real quick. Ooh. They're only 50. Oh, no. Well, that sucks. I thought they were a little bigger. Well, fuck a duck. These are definitely not as big as I thought they were going to be. Well, that stinks. I mean, it's something, though. Right? Do a status. Currently at fourteen percent power. Okay. Oof, not good. Well, let me get the last three. Let me get the three last three going here. One, two, three. I mean, hey, it's better than nothing, right? At least until we can find the generator parts that we need. Oh, there's actually four. So, oops. <laughs> I'll take a little bit of damage that I can heal just to, uh, just to finish this. Craft all four. Okay. I mean, oh, wait, wait, why is there another make? Make a DIY. Oh, okay. I turned the four into one. Okay. That's decent, I guess. A deep cycle type. Interesting. All right. Well, I mean, hey, it's something, right? It's something. Well, boys, I think we're going to call it here and pick it up with going into town, trying to get ourselves not only more food, but also solar panels so we can actually max this out. And then the, the, the actual book for the generator. We also need to get another generator because if we put it outside, we can have it to where if the batteries actually go... If we're not getting any power from the solar panel, well, the generator will charge the batteries too. So if we get another generator and learn it, we can have this thing cranking really good. Anyways, guys, you want to see some more Project Zomboid, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.